Hello, everyone, and welcome to my Bachelor Nation 24 channel, I hope. Everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Golden Baccalaureate, who was Chalk Chapel's fiance Kathy? Golden Baccalaureate winner Chalk Chapel is now engaged to Joan Vasos. However, as he's mentioned on the show, he was also engaged in the past to a woman named Kathy for nine years. Sadly, she passed away from cancer in 2022. He spoke highly of Kathy, but didn't share very much about her on the show. Who was Kathy? Keep reading to find out more. Who was Chalk Chapel's fiance Kathy? Chalk Chapel did have love in life before Golden Bachelor at Joan Vasos. He was engaged to Kathy. She was a mother of two and a beloved daughter, friend, and fans. Kathy considered her four furry friends part of her immediate family. One dog referred to in Kathy's obituary actually belongs to Chalk. He refers to this dog as Super Tubs. Above all, she was a wonderful mother who rarely missed one of her kids' sporting events. She supported them in everything they did. Kathy was loved by all who knew her and enjoyed working with her father on a daily basis. She served as vice president at White & Ellis Drilling, Incorporated. One of her big passions was Q basketball. She even followed them all over the country with her friends to watch games. It was noted in her obituary that travel was also a big part of her life. She loved to share her travel stories with others. Chalk noted on the Golden Bachelorette that Kathy was only diagnosed with cancer five months before she passed away. Why did he never get married? Fans have questioned why Chalk Chapel did not marry Kathy in the nine years they were together. In a previous interview, Chalk shared that they never got married because she wanted to wait until both of her children were out of school. The reasons behind her decision were not revealed. Oddly enough, there are no photos of the two of them together on either of their social media accounts. When she passed away, Chalk shared a photo of her facing away from the camera. He noted what a wonderful person she was and how much everyone would miss her. Of course, fans know that Joan Vassos also lost her husband to cancer. The two were able to bond over their loss. Now they have found love again with each other. They are moving on with their future and know that both John and Kathy would approve of their engagement. As the radiant sun set over the sprawling hills of Napa Valley during Chalk Chapel's unforgettable hometown date on the Golden Bachelorette, one question lingered in the minds of viewers. Who was Kathy? The name had surfaced briefly, like a whisper in the wind, during a vulnerable moment with Joan Vassos. She was my first everything, Chalk confessed, his voice carrying the weight of love lost yet cherished forever. For fans who had followed Chalk's journey, this revelation added another layer of intrigue to the man who had already become a stand-up contestant for his warmth, authenticity, and gentle humor. But Kathy wasn't just another chapter in Chalk's story. She was a symphony he had never quite finished playing. A love born in simpler times, Kathy and Chalk met during the golden summer of 1977, in a world without smartphones and social media. They were introduced at a 4th of July barbecue hosted by mutual friends in their small hometown of Charleston, South Carolina. Chalk, fresh out of college and armed with a dream of opening his own art gallery, was drawn to Kathy's unassuming charm. She was a kindergarten teacher with a laugh that could light up a room and a penchant for baking the most extraordinary peach cobbler anyone had ever tasted. She wasn't flashy, Chalk later recalled during a confessional on the Golden Baccalaureate. She was just Kathy, and that was more than enough. Their courtship was a montage of small-town romance. Late-night strolls by the harbor, shared milkshakes at the local diner, and impromptu picnics where Kathy would read poetry while Chalk sketched her. Those who knew them said they were a match made in heaven, two souls who seemed destined to dance through life together. The proposal that could have been a Hollywood scene. On Christmas Eve, 1979, Chalk proposed to Kathy beneath a canopy of twinkling lights in his parents' backyard. He had spent weeks crafting the perfect engagement ring, a delicate gold band adorned with a single sapphire, Kathy's favorite gemstone. When she said yes, the entire neighborhood celebrated, setting off fireworks in their honor. 
She made me believe in forever, Chalk shared, his voice cracking ever so slightly. Plans for a spring wedding were set in motion. Kathy chose a simple garden ceremony, envisioning a day filled with wildflowers, laughter, and their closest loved ones. But life, as it often does, had other plans. A tragic twist. In the summer of 1980, just two months before their wedding, Kathy was diagnosed with an aggressive form of leukemia. The news shook their idyllic world to its core. Chalk put everything on hold, his burgeoning career, his social life, even his art, to care for the love of his life. She kept telling me to go paint, to live my life, Chalk said on the show, tears glistening in his eyes. But how could I, when my life was right there in front of me, fighting to stay? Kathy's illness progressed rapidly, and on a quiet September morning, she slipped away, holding Chalk's hand. She was 27. The sapphire ring, meant to symbolize a lifetime together, was buried with her, a token of their love that Chalk couldn't bear to part with. A love that lingers. After Kathy's passing, Chalk disappeared from Charleston for a time. He traveled across Europe, immersing himself in art, hoping to find solace in painting. But no matter where he went or how many years passed, Kathy's memory was never far. He never married. I came close, Chalk admitted during an intimate conversation with Joan on the Golden Baccalaureate. But no one ever made me feel the way Kathy did. And maybe that's unfair. To them, and to me, but it's the truth. Chalk's time on the Golden Bachelorette was, in many ways, his first attempt to open his heart again. His connection with Joan was undeniable, but Kathy's shadow loomed large. She taught me what love could be, Chalk said. And if I'm here, it's because I want to honor that, to find someone who makes me feel even a fraction of what I felt for her. Kathy's Legacy As the episode aired, Viewers were captivated by the depth of Chalk's love story. Social media erupted with comments, ranging from admiration for Chalk's vulnerability to heartbreak over Kathy's tragic end. Fans began sharing their own stories of love and loss, creating a wave of collective healing inspired by Chalk's journey. But Kathy's impact didn't end there. A viral post from one of her former students revealed the kind of person she had been outside of her relationship with Chalk. Miss Kathy wasn't just my teacher, the post read. She was the first person who believed in me, who told me I could be anything I wanted to be. She made every child in her class feel special. This post sparked a movement to honor Kathy's legacy. Within weeks, a scholarship fund for aspiring teachers was established in her name, spearheaded by fans of the show and supported by Chalk himself. What's next for Chalk? As the Golden Bachelorette continued, the question of whether Chalk could fully open his heart to Joan, or anyone, lingered. Joan, ever the empathetic listener, seemed to understand the delicacy of Chalk's emotions. I'm not asking you to forget her, she told him during a candlelit dinner. I'm just asking you to make room, for me, for us, for whatever this could be. In the final moments of the episode, Chalk stood at a crossroads, his heart torn between the past and the promise of a new beginning. A love that transcends time. For many fans, Chalk and Kathy's story was a reminder that love, in all its forms, is eternal. Though Kathy's time on Earth was brief, her impact was profound, on Chalk, on her students, and now, on millions of viewers who found hope and inspiration in her memory. As the credits rolled, one thing was clear. Kathy would always be a part of Chalk's story. But perhaps, just perhaps, the chapter that followed could be one of healing, growth, and a love that, while different, was no less extraordinary. In the words of Chalk himself, Kathy taught me how to love. Joan is teaching me how to live again. And maybe, just maybe, that's what she would have wanted.